Hi there. Uh, this is what I've done with my trailer. I put an elevator bed in. As you can see it's built into the wall. The, the bed frame actually goes into the wall so it can't shift back and forth. It's got spacers so it can't shift this way. And then it uses an electric winch to go up and down with straps. So it goes all the way down to the e-track down here and sits down there when there's no bikes in. But I can still sleep in here when the bikes are in. Um, <laughs> All the way out of the way. Um, put lights under here as well so if it's not dark. This is the electric winch so you can see the straps loop around it and that way they draw up evenly. Um, I use the steel pipe all the way down the other side so you have all four four straps on each corner. Um, and then I have the e-track vertically here so I can have it at any height that I want. Um, made, it, made it come out really nice and it all works off of 12 volt. Okay, I'm going to bring you around to the inside. Uh, I did built-in cabinets because uh, I didn't like how toy haulers and all those other things used the space. So I can actually fit five motorcycles in here. I can put uh, one staggered here. I can do another one in front of the race bike. Okay. Uh, Built-in cabinets have all the way up. There's a 12-volt battery, RV battery underneath here. It lifts up, and that's a diesel heater. So it works off of diesel fuel, and it's also 12 volt. So I don't need any shore power to have any heat. Okay. Um, obviously, you can see how I did the bike storage for stuff, toolboxes, chairs, three gas jugs, spare tire. Uh, put in a toaster oven because I really love pizza rolls. Um, and then uh, E-Track for mounting the bike, bike things. The nice thing is if I have more of them, I can always use the other E-Track down there. And I got a collapsible table. So when the bed's down, I can put chairs next to it for batting breakfast. Um, and then the, on the other side, you're not going to be able to see it. There is an RV panel that recharges the, right down here, that black box. So that's a 12 volt and a, um, alternating current RV panel. So it charges the, uh, the battery when it's hooked up to shore power. Um, LED lights that are all individually switched. Or I got switches on the wall to turn them on and off if I want. Um, and then uh, TV, I got it hooked up so I can actually hook up my phone or my iPad and play anything I want on it, including video games with my son and things like that. Cool. Thanks for thanks for watching. Talk to you later.